So let's ask some slightly different questions here. If I give you a midpoint and an endpoint, can you find the other endpoint? Now there's a, I think, a very easy way to do this. It just requires you to be able to find the difference between uh, different sets of coordinates. So I like to look at this in a t-table of values. So we think about how the line segment works. Your midpoint's gonna be in the middle, and we kind of expect there to be both you know, an endpoint, let's call it A, and another endpoint, let's call it B. The key thing to remember here is that in this setup, the midpoint has to be in the middle. It just has to be. So let's put in our ordered pairs. The midpoint right here in the middle is going to be at negative 15, comma, 16. And your endpoint, one of the endpoints is negative 7, 2. So let's put that right here, negative 7, 2. So the way I like to do this is I like to think about if you're going on a road trip and you get to the halfway mark, that means that you, you're halfway there. And so however far you've driven, you then have to drive that much further. So if you've been on the road and you've driven 250 miles and you finally get to the halfway mark, that means you still have 250 miles left to drive. And that's kind of what's going on here. As I go from point to point, look at those coordinates from negative seven to negative 15. What did we do? Well, we got more negative, that's for sure. And we actually went down eight units. So we're halfway there and we subtracted eight. So if I were to subtract eight again, I would then be at my final destination. So negative 15 and negative eight is going to give me negative 23. And let's see what happens on the Y side. To go from 2 to 16, you have added 14 to those coordinates. Well, you're only halfway there, right? So you've got to do that again. Add 14, and 16 plus 14 gives us 30. So we can say here that the other endpoint The other endpoint is the ordered pair, negative 23, comma 30. Now there is another way to do this, and that's using that midpoint formula. So remember the midpoint takes x1 plus y1, whoop, x1 plus x2, don't know what I'm thinking there, over 2, and then y1 plus y2 over 2. So here we know that the midpoint is negative 15 comma 16. And for the ordered pair, here's what we don't know. We don't know that second x or the second y. And so we write it like this. We say that this is x1 y1. So x1 is negative 7 plus x2 divided by 2, and then y1 is 2 plus that other ordered pair that we're going to find, right, divided by 2. And what we have here is that we can now equate your x coordinates to each other and the y coordinates to each other. So for the x, you're going to say that negative 15 equals negative 7 plus x2 over 2, and you can solve that. And you're going to do something very similar for the y. But first, let's solve this. And I don't want you to see that one just yet. Let's multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So you have negative 30 is equal to, now these guys reduce away, that's really nice, negative 7 plus x2. Add 7 to both sides. And you find out that negative 23 is equal to that other x-coordinate, which is the same thing we already have here, just with a lot less work. And you can do the same thing with the y. You can say that 16 is equal to 2 plus y2 divided by 2. If you multiply both sides of the equation by 2, 
you get that 32 is equal to 2 plus y2, which then means y2 is equal to 30 when you subtract 2 on both sides. So what we find here for x2 and y2 is the same thing that I have here. It just takes a little bit more work. So you can do whichever method you want. Um, I know what I'm going to do. So let's look at this next example. In the next example, I'm telling you that you've got an endpoint and you've got a midpoint, just like we had previously. So I'm going to set that up. I'm going to be very careful to make sure that I put my midpoint in the middle. So the midpoint goes in the middle. And the midpoint is right here with the coordinates negative 1, negative 20. And you have one of the endpoints being 8, 9. So I'm going to use the trick that I was using above to go from 8 to negative 1 is a difference of 9, but you're going down 9. So I'm going to do that again to get to the other endpoint. So negative 1 minus 9 is negative 10. And we do something similar for the y. From 9 to negative 20, you've actually gone down 29. Down from the 9, and then going to the negative side 20, so down 29. That's halfway, so go down 29 again. Negative 20 minus 29 is negative 49. And so that we can clearly state at the end that the other endpoint is the ordered pair negative 10, negative 49. And you've got to be careful about this because I've seen students in the past put the midpoint as an endpoint to kind of get these guys uh, swapped around. And of course that ends up with the wrong endpoint at the end. So make sure that you do organize your terms correctly and you're going to be right as rain.